After seven months of waiting and for failure to have a concrete response to its call for the Department of Environment and Natural Resources to expedite its action to protect and conserve Mount Matutum protected landscape, the Philippine League of Local Environment and Natural Resources Officers of South Cotabato has again reiterated its call to DENR to provide a written response to its written manifesto. Philippine League of Local Environment and Natural Resources Officers of South Cotabato, an organization of municipal city and provincial environment officers of South Cotabato, has passed a manifesto urging DENR 12 Director Adernay Felix Alisur to urgently address the massive conversion of forest land to other uses in disguise of ecotourism, selling and buying of forest land, road opening, widening and concreting and other activities and establishment operating without protected area management board clearances. The manifesto was received by DENR Regional Office on December 2, 2022. The Philippine League of Local Environment and Natural Resources Officers of South Cotabato lead by its president Island Estrada, in its manifesto called DENR to take a bold step to end the practice of converting the strict protection zone into multi-use zone, illegal construction and structures, institute legal actions against those responsible for graft and betrayal of public trust at the expense of Mount Matutum protected landscape. The manifesto remains unanswered to date. This prompted the Philippine League of Local Environment and Natural Resources Officers of South Cotabato, President Eileen Estrada, to follow it up on July 3, this year. Though our manifesto was discussed during protected area management board meetings we have not received any printed copy from your end, Estrada said in her second letter. Republic Act 6713, Section 5A, mandates that public officials and employees shall act promptly on letters and requests within 15 working days from receipt. Hashtag Save Matutum.